My name is Armola Francis and I'm a grad student in the Environmental Science Master's Program at Taylor University. Uh, my name is Katherine Hogan and I am also in the same program. I'm Jesse Kramer and I'm also in that same program <laughs> and we're all roommates. We're also all part of Stewards of Creation, which is a creation care organization here on campus. And we are very interested in doing what we can to care for the creation that God has given us. Lately I've been focusing a lot on how um, Christians, we focus so much on spiritual aspects. And we kind of um, have this mentality that the physical world is less significant than the spiritual when really these things are all tied up together. And God created both. And so a lot of the times we kind of ignore the one um, in, in place of the other. And another thing that I was thinking about is how we need to consider future generations. So it's not just for ourselves, but for people to come. So like every action that we take now affects future generations uh, negatively or positively. So thinking about the future. For me, it's kind of been a progression of actually what Ben said and talked about, picking one thing and trying to improve you know, your choices in that area. And then you pick another thing you can do to improve your choices. And you just kind of keep going and keep adding different choices and different, uh, really just intentionally thinking even about little things you do. Like for me, it was biking to my class in January, even when it was below zero. So just little things like that, trying to realize that there's a bigger picture and that sometimes it's really not that big a deal in the big run. And if you just think about the things you're doing, um, it, it's a really very easy way to kind of slowly change your life and make yourself more environmentally conscious. A couple years ago, I was completely ignorant about climate change. And the more you know, the more you can become passionate about it because um, you learn to love and care for the things you know uh, significantly. And uh, like practical application, it definitely has to do with the car. When you have a car and it's an Indiana winter and the wind is crazy freezing, you just want to drive your car because you have it there with you. Um, but walking or biking instead, that's like a daily sacrifice you can make. And it might seem insignificant, but the little things do add up. One thing I love is carpooling. Um, so say over Christmas break, you know, it's not very practical to bike the 200 miles home in the winter. Um, but carpooling, I think, is a really fun thing because not only does it cut costs and gas and obviously emissions, but it also is a really good time to build community with the people with whom you're driving. And so that's always a fun thing. And one other thing that I've enjoyed doing is just talking with people about it and seeing what their thoughts are and comparing them with my thoughts and seeing what motivates them and the why behind they care and sharing with them the why behind why I care. What's your prayer for uh, senior evangelical leaders? It's my prayer that these leaders would be able to see the biblical reason for why it's important for us to care. One thing I always think about is the parable of the talents, where the master, he doesn't just give the property, he gives his own property to, to the servants to care for, and that's a big responsibility that we have, and instead of thinking the earth is just something that we've been given, um, it's always helped me to think about it as something that is belonging to the Lord. So if if leaders could see that and have a passionate, passionate stance on caring for the environment because of who it belongs to, I think that would change a lot of things. The main point I would try to make them see and the main thing that I pray about is that often in evangelical churches there's a lot of focus on social justice and you know overseas missions, but whenever it comes to thinking about climate, that aspect is often not even on the table, and I would pray that they would see the correlation between environmental justice and environmental issues and the problems of social justice and poverty around the world.